Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tina and today we're going to be um, doing my monthly planning for April. But before we get to that, I want to um, get some things brightened up, change some things up, and I'm going to bring you along with me. It shouldn't take too long, I hope. <laughs> um, this is for doing the monthly. Um, first, I want to talk about does anybody have these? This is the Happy Planner Custom. Create your own custom cover. I'm going to tell you, I thought I was really lucky to find two packages of these on clearance at Joann's last year. And I thought, okay, this is great. I will be able to just slide in whatever I want. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Um, if you don't know, they're... These are pretty, you know, they're not, they're not going to be as hard as these, but what I don't like is how flimsy this is. If you can tell, has anybody had experience with these? Um, because I'm hesitant to use it on my daily planner. I don't mind using it on something that's going to sit on the shelf most of the time and be a reference. But, um, if you don't know, you just slide, um, some scrapbook paper or whatever you want in here and then you have your custom cover um, I'm not necessarily going to get rid of them but I am slightly disappointed there's the back of the package that they aren't um, I figured they would be stiffer and firmer on the uh, disc side and I don't like if you have you seen these on here so this is another thing. So let me show you, like, if this is the cover, anything I have right here on the first page or down here is going to be shown. So you can't cover all the way up here. I would prefer it had like a neutral, even like a beige or a gray border there or something. But um, let me know your thoughts because I am curious to see what y'all have uh, had experience with them and what you've done with them. Um, so to start off, we are going to end up putting April in for my catch-all, but to start, I'm going to freshen some things up, and I have some divider pages here, and I'm going to actually um, freshen up my, my cover. So what I'm going to do is, I really like these, and I'll probably end up cleaning this off. So I'm going to actually just flip these over, because I looked through my covers and um, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, I'll have to clean that off, but I'm just going to flip these over and brighten it up for the season because I really like the simplicity. So, and if you don't know, this is the Grounded Magic Happy Planner from this year, it's a classic size. Um, so to start off, I'm going to be doing, um, freshening up some of these. So I have a lot of, I, I just chose a bunch randomly and, um, I don't think I need this many, but I did just kind of pull them out. So I'm going to start off this with a bright faded, um, bangs or speak so it'll look like that then we are going to go here to my schedule and I think I want to do um because I think I want this one to be for my garden and then um I was thinking Oh, I cut two of these. I didn't even realize that I cut two of those. <laughs> See, look, apparently I wasn't paying attention. Um, I'm not sure. I think I want to go with this. And I don't go with foil very often. But we're going to give it a shot. Because I like the bright, vibrant, fun. Get that over there. So, and I'll give you a review so it kind of mutes it when it have when I have the clear cover on and then I have my health and I think I'm just going to do 
a blue just to brighten it up and change it up because I've been looking at the same thing for the last three months and I just need something new. So, um, oh, here we go. Where am I going? So this actually has two, um, and I might end up changing these around, but I think this will be nice. Um, this one has a vellum and a white sheet, so you can see. And I just kind of taped it together a little bit so that um, it didn't move on me. So there's that. And then for the garden one. So I do have the dragonflies here and this vellum didn't move as much. So believe it or not, it's thinner. So this has a vellum and then it's got the green check um, behind it. So I'm going to put this one because it just kind of has that nice little light to it. And I know you might be thinking, hey, what about the other side? I don't pay attention to the other side, so it's okay. So we have the front cover and we open it up to a nice, I might put a quote on here or something, I'm not sure, but I really just kind of like that bright color and it brings this out over here. And then we have my schedule and my health, my social, and then my garden. So it brightens it up and it is super cute. Um, we'll get to that in a few minutes, but I haven't put this in yet and I'm going to be setting up my monthly for April. Okay, um, what I had in mind, let me get these out of the way before they get banged up. Um, it doesn't want to... Oh, I see where it's stuck. There we go. Okay, we'll put these over there for now. Um, I'm gonna need to open up my future log so I can see what I'm supposed to be doing because, yeah, got all kinds of stuff. So I have, where is it? Um, I don't know why I have both of these. I don't know where this one, why this one's here. Uh, seasons of color. And I might leave this, I don't know, we'll have to see. But I wanted to use some of these and I have like this, that muted like purpley mauve kind of a color here, um, right there. And just kind of a soft color. So I'm hoping maybe I can make something work <laughs> um, for this month without going overboard because I can already tell you I have quite a bit and I will be throwing down boxes where I need them. Um, what on earth? Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up because Passover begins, but we I'm in the we're in the last week. I'm doing this in the last week of um, March. <laughs> I did not think what month we were in doing this the last week of March, so I'm not quite sure why there's Passover, and it might be a different Passover. I don't know, because, or it's a typo. Mm. It happens. It's okay. So, first and foremost, you guys know I will be doing my boxes and my functional planning first. Um, oh, I know what I need. I need because my daughter's birthday is April 2nd. So I am going to, let me see what every, this is the uh, essential seasons. And in every season, there's the celebrate yay and birthday stickers. And so I thought it'd be nice if I could find something that wasn't like too outlandish. Oh, maybe one of these. So maybe I will do the floral first and then pick one of these to go on because there's all the different rainbows. So I wanted to pull that out of here 
Um, let me move this over and then we're just going to get started. So I had done these ages ago. I found them. I'm going to use them up um, as I can. These are the stickers I made on my Cricut years ago um, for 4-H. So it just kind of helps me say, hey, here's some 4-H. So we have 4-H um, on the 20th. See, you can tell they were part of my old, like I'm going to try this Cricut style. And they work. They're not perfect, but I'd rather use them up than to waste them. And then I think um, the 10th is also a 4-H. So are you guys ready for April? Um, there seems to be a lot going on for us in April. And the first is a meeting for 4-H. So 4-H is starting to kick in big time. And we don't celebrate April Fool's, so I'm just going to put this right over that. Because quite frankly, I don't care. Um, it's just a, a non-issue with us. So, oh. Wait a minute, they're, okay, well, let me cross that out because they moved a meeting. I couldn't figure out why I had something um, backed up. Okay, and then the 17th, my daughter has a meeting. I'm telling you, Corey's just kicking in hard here. Um, so, there we go. I think that's all the 4-H stuff. So, here's a pencil. Let me marked it off here. Um, so I got the 10th and the 17th and the 20th and the first, where is that one? There it is. Okay. So I'm trying to go through my list that I have over here on the side um, to make sure that I've got something. Now to not overpower, and I didn't want to do, I didn't want to go on a hunt for, um, coordinating stickers. So I'm just going to use some of my black boxes to um, lay out some stuff here. So actually this one is going to get a bigger box, I think. Let me see if I can't find my boxes book real quick. Oh, What's the other one? Um, Nope, not that one. I need to organize all my sticker books. Okay, I lost a sticker book. I'm looking. I don't know where it went to. Um, it's just all my boxes. It might have I might have one in that one. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, so out of my colorful boxes, I'm going to get a black one to match the rest of them, but I want one that is slightly bigger um, to go on to the 14th because that is a special day there. And um, so I know we've got Thursdays all the way down. Or nope, we don't. We have all the way to the 11th, so what the heck? This must have been a miscut. Let me see if I can't. Are they all like that? Oh, they are. How did that get by? Oh, here we go. This one's not better. It's just upside down. Okay, so that's going to annoy me. Um... Maybe I will just do all black boxes from this one. We'll see what we have in here. I was just trying to use up what I had, but that's okay. So we've got happy planner ones here. And let's see, here's the fourth and the eleventh. And then doo -doo -doo, um 
fourth and the eleventh. And then I have a meeting, so I want a bigger box here on the thirtieth. Hmm. Okay, that works. Cause that's a different time too, so I need a bigger box. Um, what about that one? So we're getting there. And then let's see, the 9th and the 16th. We need these bigger boxes. So it's probably a better thing that I did. Um, I don't know what Id El Futur, I don't know what that is. So we're just, does not apply on my calendar. So let's go with that. So there, okay, so I know it looks a little, kind of looking a little St. Patty Day-ish. Um, I wish there was something between these two because I don't need something this big per se for the space, but let's see. On the 27th, I might change that one out. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. Um, so there's the boxes to start. Okay. So now we have boxes. And now it is the time, the fun time. Okay. So I'm going to start down here on the bottom. And I really like this be good to yourself. But I also like that. I might put this on the side because I think I'm going to put this down here and I know I'm going to need to trim it up and it will um, be covering some. So I'm going to move this over a little bit for now. Here, we'll just take that one up and then I will replace it down when I am done. Because we'll just... go and I gauge that to be about there Not, oh. and then put my scissors back where they should go um, <laughs> so let me get this trimmed up I hope you guys are ready because spring is here and I'm ready to get out in the garden um, I don't know that I want to, maybe I will. We'll have to see what I do with that. I'll put that there. Um, maybe there's something, oh, I might be able to put a flower down there. I do want, oh, where'd it go? One back this way. I went the wrong way. I am ready. I'm ready for warmer weather. I'm ready for not so much rainy and gloomy weather. I want to be able to get outside and do, I think I'm going to take this this way. Um, I'm ready to get outside and uh, do this. So get outside and enjoy that warm weather. Because quite frankly, I am done. <laughs> I'm done with being stuck inside. I am. Okay. So I'm going to trim this and then I'm going to. I have it started. I didn't push it down all the way. So I'm going to try to keep a straight line there and then I'm going to try to put it down in the exact same place that I had it before. I am trying to find time to plan out my new pollinator garden um, so that we can get the ground tilled up here fairly quickly and um, then I can get my seeds going for that. Let's see if I can look at that. There we go because I didn't want to cover that up. I kind of need that. <laughs> kind of need the month on both sides because sometimes I flip back and forth. Uh oh. Trim that kind of tight. A little bit further up than I intended, but hey. Nobody else yet. 
Um, so there's that. That's so pretty. I might use that. Um, I have a box here and a box here. But I kind of wanted, you know what, I think I'm going to put this one up here. Because I wanted this, but I was also thinking this. But I'm not sure. Because this has the matching flowers. But I want to bring some greenery over. Like just greenery so that I can bring this in. So maybe I'll bring this with a flower or two in here. And we'll just bring this over this way. Okay, we'll just cover up the notes too. Oop, come on. is in the air and I think I need to fill this in somehow with something um, right down there okay so we've got I've got this I can always run this up but I kind of want something a little bit more and I don't have any foil so I'm going to try to avoid the foil uh, ones there so that's kind of similar. I don't want to do that. So let's see. So this one's cute. Is this one kind of? Mm, maybe it might be reminiscent of that, but not really. And there was nothing on that page that looks similar. So there is this one, and then some of that purple. So I might, I'm going to try this one, this watercolor over here. If I do that, it kind of just looks like it's just thrown over there. So I'm not loving that. Um, and I want to bring the green area in. So we'll just put this one back. How did it go? Like it went up here. Um, I have so many plans. Maybe I'll find a quote to go up there. Where did I see those quotes? I had quotes that I was looking at not too long ago that if I can find what book I was looking in. I think they were uh, color story, maybe. Oh, I bet it was. There we go. So there's these. Um, and if I can find something, I think there was another page that I had loose. Oh, boy. Maybe that is the loose page. Because um, I kind of like this, so I might just bring this in, and it'll bring a little blue, but I think it'll look nice, and that'll be the only foil, because um, I want to put a quote over here, and I think it'll look really nice. There we go. So there's that. Um... That one came in nice and handy. So I still, I'm going to put some decor up here, I think. And there's this one. And then there's not, that's not in there. So I thought there was, there's this. This is more of a watercolory. Watercolory, is that a word? Watercolory? Um, Nope. Okay. Don't stick. Come on. There we go. I think I'm going to swoop it this way. I 
and trim it up. Um, I have a lot of plans for this next month. Oh, by now, when you see this, we'll have already been on our big shopping trip for the year and um, gotten our New Year's uh, selection of homeschool curriculum and we've turned that in, um, done my big stock up trip for a lot of our bulk groceries. I think I want, I want it to not cover that. And I still want something down here that's not going to be overwhelming, but I want it to, um, so I kind of wanted to use that one, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I wonder. Um, okay, there's that one. I'm just stuck down here because I think I'm okay with this. I don't think I might put some of the greenery in there, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I was wondering if I used, because that one has foil. Maybe that'll bring it to the other page too, I guess. Um, hmm. So if I combine, oh no, they're not quite the same. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay. So this one, I mean, it kind of fits in. And if I did that, so I'm trying to figure out how to bring in this one that I had already done already pulled out. So if I did this, I don't know how to bring that one in to make it all kind of fit. Without mismashing, because it doesn't fit. So we're just going to use, I don't want to go there. Um, I have a, I think I still have another leaf or two. Here we go. That one looking a little odd. Yeah, I don't like that either. I don't know what to do, y'all. I am stuck on this one. Oh, and I do not have a big enough sticker to go over that, and I don't want to, um, use foil if I don't have to, but I might need to. I'm just going to place this up there, and we'll stick this down here. Um, <laughs> So if I had something in blue, because it's all in purple, but maybe I'll put this one down there, because I don't want to use this, really, and that should be almost too close in one. So maybe I will use, and I'll cut that one up. Um, yeah, I'll cut this one up. And it'll bring some of that foil over and it'll blend with that. Um, and I know I say, um, work with me here. <laughs> I'm a mom. My thought process is, uh, I'll bring that. So we'll overlap that one. Let's see if I want that. I think I want to move it. I want to move it. Uh oh. I gotta pull. Oh, nope. It's gonna stay. I got it down too well. Okay. So it's gonna stay. But that's okay. We can work with what we've got.
and I can use this in another place on the page to bring in some. And I think that's what I'm going to do with the other bits is um, we'll bring this in up here to kind of bring it down to the other page. And then I will use the crocodile when I'm done. A tiny little flower here so I think I need to put my uh, meeting and appointment stickers on I don't even know if I got the meeting ones done I should have but I might not have so I'm gonna put this here like bring that there and then to use oop, some of these up We will center that down there, kind of to bring some of it together. And um, I know I've got a couple more down here. I thought maybe it's back here. Yep, there they are. Okay. Got this one so I can put, you know what? I'm going to change that out and that'll help bring some of it over. Um, So I don't have anything yet, yet on these days. And when I do get something on these days, I can put it above. And I need this one here. I can trim that off. And I just keep using these until there is no more. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. I need to go in the corner. I think we'll put this up here in a corner there. See, look how cute. It kind of just fits right in. And then I have this piece. We will put that flower in there. Okay, I think that's the end, the end of my ends. So I think I'm gonna put this one up here. Um, because I don't have I have something on the other side, and this will kind of be more continuity here. Let me get the crocodile out. And I don't need anything on this base, just this, this one. Just this one. Okay. Hold on. Did not get a good grip for some reason. The cat, one of the cats is meowing out there. Okay, so I am really happy with the way this turned out. This was a little like, and the, the, I don't think there's any way to get it better. Um, let me see if I can't pull this out here. So there is my completed April. Um, I will get appointment stickers on here in a little bit. Um, after I leave you because I have to find where I put them um, but I hope you enjoyed this I hope it was inspirational and I really love these muted um, like watercolor colors what do you think of them do you like muted watercolor or do you like the more vibrant um, floral colors do you like florals at all let me know and I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.